Hello, people of the internet. I'm Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac at the Birth Plus, where we are going to, again, attempt to beat Delirium as the Keeper. We came incredibly close last time, making it to the Delirium fight itself, and the only reason we died is because we were too slow. Uh, starting off here with Cricket's head is not a bad startup, really. Nice increase in damage is always good, but, oh, that was almost not so good. But, uh, yeah, we came close, we got, we tried so hard and we got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. We fell and lost it all. Would have liked for that to be a small rock, but knew it likely wasn't going to be. Um... Okay, that poison is not dangerous to us, that's right. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Ace of Hearts is completely useless to us. Um, we do actually have enough money on the ground that we could afford something from the shop if we so desired. We will visit it, though, because we can do it for free, thanks to Storky. And it's the Lucky Shop as well, which is arguably the best shop there is in the game. Taking the lucky pennies now. Forget about uh, leaving money on the ground for self sac room. Lucky pennies means that we are going to be good for a while now. Plus, the likelihood of self sacrifice room is not high at all. I probably could have saved that for um, plays to get some flies, I suppose. I would have had to, um, ow, badness is bad. I would have had to use it on a room that has an empty, slash, aka spent, chest in it. But it could have been done. I'm just too lazy to even think about doing it, I suppose. Sorry, got nose itches as well, which is not helping. Alright, so, there's not gonna be a self-sack room on this floor. There is going to be some damage dealt to me, because I suck at this game. When, when the run isn't handed to me, I tend to suck hard. But when the run is very well handed me, I still tend to suck pretty hard. But hey, 18 cents means shop access next floor. Possibly even get an arcade, which would be nice if we were to get the blood bag. No money waiting for us, but it's Larry Jr. We theoretically shouldn't need help to deal with him. Theoretically, at least. And looks like practically as well. There we go. Um, it's alright, I suppose, as far as items go. Not what I would have asked for, but it's better than nothing. Uh, Curse of the Lost. So shop is first priority here, followed shortly after by um, item room, boss fights, and then we go on, and on and on, and we go on and on and on. I would really like to get a bomb this time, so that I can get go in the golden chest go. Um... Nothing really in here. I mean, I could take Blue Candle, but that'd be more along the lines of suicide. Which is not something I am keen on doing, particularly. Not dealing with stone fatties. Um, <clears throat> I think we do check out the... You know what, we got the boss fight right here. Let's do the boss fight here. Knock it out now. It is pinned. Thank goodness, it's something easy, simple, and manageable to fight. And Synth Oil is an excellent item to get. <laughs> then in here, there is nothing really waiting for us. So we will be leaving this room as soon as we can. Because it won't let us take that without murderizing us. 
Plus, the damage increase is not stupendously amazing, I suppose. Anyways, um, finish explorations on this floor. If we get a self sac room, I suppose we can check it, check it out. But, other than that, we'll be moving on. There's our item room. Ooh, I hate the stone fatties. Alright, and I need a bomb because I can't really take that. It's completely and totally useless to me. I could have used it. I could have taken Book of the Wild and then taken it, but Book of the Wild was a dead take anyways, so yeah. Oh god, I have to pick that up. Check up here real quick. That just let us back in a circle. Good to know. Alright. Let's hopefully get a tears upgrade here. Gish is nowhere near good enough. Compound Fracture is somewhat like um, the Parasite, so I will take it because that is pretty good. It's not the tears upgrade I had asked for, but it's useful nonetheless. Um, don't know why I was doing that when I could have been doing it like this. Leave that for the time being. That was nice. I could also play the um, fortune machines to see about getting a better trinket, but I think I'll be fine. A bomb would be nice though, because then I can go ham on these things. Except for our donut machine. That one doesn't get to be done ham on. So this should put us above where we need to be speed wise. Um. Of base level speed is nice. Continue leaving money on the ground because there is one last route to take. It does not have what I desire, so we will just be moving on until we gather up all of our supplies. All in all, I'd say this is actually a pretty decent floor. We got speed, we got damage, and we got a little bit of an interesting extra DPS in the form of compound fracture. Sure, we don't get into the golden chest there, but I'm fine with that. So, to the next floor we go with 40 cents. We can really afford some shop stuff. If it wants to get into me, that is. Sure. We'll do it just to see what we can get out of it. I was kind of hoping we would see. Guppy's head or nine lives, to be honest. From the initial red chest, but I won't. Okay, leave the six cents on the ground in case. Oh, lucky. Not gonna do that, though. Because, uh,. We don't need to respawn as the lost. There goes our deal odds on this floor. Thank you, bad trip. Again, proving why I love you oh so much. Please open your mouth, turret face. And pop it here. Library. Mapping. And nothing. Okay. Library wasn't bad, it got us close to the bookworm transformation. We're only one off now, which is nice. Shop will be down here, and this does actually prove there is no self sac room as well. So I should backtrack and pick up all this cash. Just so I'm not wasting, because waste not, want not. Um, down, yeah. Alright. 
so far everything's going fine, but that can all change on the drop of a dime. Southern, we head. Thank goodness for that penny, otherwise we very much risk being dead. Ooh, that was actually pretty close. We need to leave at least one cent on the ground in case of an emergency situation, so I do not brown. Alright. So. Shot first. Okay. This is worth doing. We are on the caves one. Pandora's box here gives us a boss room item. I will say that's worth doing. It's not worth doing after all. Not taking broken stopwatch. We'll take Sackhead. And we'll take Piggy Bank. Um, hold on to the sun. Keep going. Keep going. And nothing. Okay. Had to see what we would get. Overall, Sackhead and Piggy Bank are not bad. Piggy Bank is not a guaranteed money drop when you take damage, like it would be on other characters. Uh, you are tech two, I want to say. That would sadly bastardize the, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to check to make sure. Because they're techs do different things. Technology two, I think that one is. I am correct. Replaces the right eye with unlimited ranged piercing, which fires continuously. So... Hmm. And just looking through this here. It does reduce my damage, is the only thing. I don't think we want to do this. No, we do not want to do this. Sorry, Tech 2, but you are not good enough for this run. Which is a shame, because it's a waste of an item room. Big horn. Not a terrible boss. But I don't like the fact that we have no health. But yeah, taking the reduced damage would have been a very poor decision, I think. I'm not really sure how it would affect my tears, considering from what I'm reading, it makes it so that you only fire tech shots out of your right eye, but... So, get that range upgrade again, more money, and move on. Nothing more on this floor. I've left behind the lunch back there. Oh well. Uh, I'm not dealing with this room. Because I, knowing my luck, had I not done that, it would have been all skeletons all the time. Um, we can actually not waste a bomb here, realizing. Bloody Penny might not be a bad plan. It is flies when we pick up money, I think is how it works. Which one could argue is better than the current option. Give me just a moment to check what this dice room does. I can never remember. So the three room rerolls all pickups and trinkets in the entire floor. This, in this includes shop pickups. Okay. Good to know. Good to keep in mind, in fact. So we're not going to utilize it just yet. Ow. Bad damage is bad. Oh, we will pop in here. Demon Judge is nice and tempting there. 
I want to check out the shop first, though, just in case we can manage a chaos pickup here. There is no self sack room either, so I can, leave, I can effectively start picking up my money after the Demon Judge plays. Yes. Just keep focused, keep calm and steady. Don't make my knees weak. My knees weak or arms heavy. No need to be nervous. Because we're calm and ready. I have no clue if that's even how the song goes, but I know that there's been the mention of Mom's Spaghetti. Um... Blow this guy up first. Then... I think you do take pay to play. It makes keys a little less worthwhile, and it does mean we can drop shop key as well, because there's really no point in it, since all key shops are now replaced with penny doors. Crack the sky is useless. I pick it up just so that we can put it back down. Emperor is a good card to have. Um, let's actually here go and pick up our Bloody Penny, because with Storky now useless, Bloody Penny has worth. And then, we go over and we start playing this Demon Judge, carefully. We will do it one play at a time if we absolutely have to. Even if one play at a time is a little slow. No! Come on! Why is it so... I should have played it one play at a time! Damn it! You know what? Screw demon judges and stuff. I'm just gonna start doing one play at a time. It might be... Ooh, Holy Mantle's actually pretty good. It might be slower playing, but it is safer as well. The pact is a damn good item to find. Granted, we are currently sitting pretty at one, but now we effectively have three health before we die. Which is a massive improvement. And the early pact does mean increased tears and damage early on as well. So I will gladly take this. over the last run right now. Not to say the last run wasn't awesome, and we didn't screw the pooch royally with the freaking judge there. Not at all, I'm not saying that in the slightest. Ignore the clenched teeth that you guys can't actually see because I still haven't gotten my, my face cam up and running. Something I definitely need to work towards, but I kind of want to get the room where I'm recording in a little bit better situated first. It's not exactly... I mean, it's nice and snug, but yeah, I'm st it's not ready for face camera. Uh, watch battery is useless, actually. And then, of course, it's two mystery items here. I don't know why I even bothered checking it out. So, let's go ahead and do a backtrack pickup of money, except for one cent, which we will leave for emergency health purposes, and that one cent will be the nickel so that we can get the most out of it, and Little Horn Champion variant that only spawns the bombs, I believe, is what this one does. It doesn't Nope, it might only- I think it might be the one that only spawns tears, never mind. I misspoke. Still, very manageable little horn to deal with. All things considered. 
go. And we get Magic Scab, a luck upgrade, in other words. And I forgot the nickel. Yay me. Still, we're fine. Might be down five cents, and that might suck a little bit, but we are fine. Um, arcade could be our speed solution. Check it real quick, that is in there, so it is worth considering. Pop open the chest here. Plenty of money early on. I do you think we take the arcade right now because that does not reduce our deal loss? So just take it carefully. Do not rush. Do not play dumb. Do not play demon judges more than once in a go. Unless you have blind rage, I suppose, because I think that increases your invincibility frames. And it gives us the useless IV bag, which we will still pick up, just so it's out of rotation for normal item rooms and golden chests. Then we take that, and we keep going. Ah, uh, nothing in here. Don't know what killed that one. It's dead. Quick shop access is always a great pleasure. And this is well worth doing the rerolls on. Because if we can get a more options, present is actually pretty decent as well. But we don't have a key yet, so we need to see about getting a key here real quick. D Infinity is a random dice item every use. It's potentially good, but also potentially horrendous. We can't even access it normally anyway, so it's a move point at the moment. We're spawning flies somehow. Oh, it's the regen! Regen is working and spawning us flies in. And no keys still. Okay. It's gonna be a risky... Well, first, let's get the D-Infinity so it's out of rotation. Turns into the D-12, which can be used to free roll rocks. Not particularly useful. Next, we carefully take present here, for mystery gift, and then re-roll. Then we take the key, and pop in here. Book of Revelations, it is worth picking up and then putting back down, but we're not going to use it because that would spawn us a horseman. I want to get Sackhead, there should be enough money on the ground to get it. I'm going to do the risky play here and try and take the present into the deal with the devil. Haunt is not an easy boss to fight either. But if we can take it into the deal with the devil, then we have potential of getting a free deal item, which could be excellent. Thank god I'm just barely fast enough to keep up there with the bricks. There we go. Haunt's dealt with. Take the range and luck. Popping in here. It gives us Book of Belial. Not really what I was hoping for, but... I guess it is part of the bookworm transformation, is all I can really say. Can't take anything else. So, all in all, this floor is actually borderline almost useless. Um, we might as well use the D-Infinity once here. It would then become the D-100. Eagles. And yeah. Go 
back for our wooden nickel, which was down here. If we can get 15 cents, I will definitely be taking Sackhead. If we can't, though, then we can't. And it sucks. And it does not look like we will be getting Sackhead here. Nope. We're four cents short. Um, well, we'll burn one bomb. Just enough to get Sackhead. Okay, I'll take Sackhead. But only because we just got enough. And Sackhead turns to be bomb, key, and a penny. Good. Alright. Well, with that, let's move on to the next floor. All in all, this floor was... Meh. I will say, on a scale of 1 to 10. It was a meh. Uh, excuse me. Case 1. Not worth doing. Thank you for dying before you could hit me. Yeah, our damage is not stupendously amazing. But I suppose the fact that we got a higher than base keeper tiers rate does mildly make it for it. Ow. Oh, it was already gone here. Because I let that thing run with smack into me. Oh, nearly happened again. Only I would have been plain. Because I give gameplay a bad name. Empress is nice. Take it as much with this. Um, we can utilize our bombs here to get us some stuffs. Stuffs well worth getting as well. didn't really want to have to pick up all that money right then and there, but I don't think there was any other way that could have gone. We did get our bomb back, too, which is nice. And nothing else. So I'm not going to burn another bomb for a trinket and another sack. This isn't a difficult room. It's more of an annoying room, because... Yeah, lots of randomly wandering hazards. It's never fun. Plus, the invincible mushrooms, because mushrooms are so tough. And you know, with the... I should mention this, but with Sackhead, we actually do stand a fudge nougat. Um, we do stand a better chance at staying alive in the long term just because of the fact that um, we have access to batteries more frequently. Ow. Okay, not terrible, all things considered. I fully expected to be taking more damage as this room has passed. We're surprisingly not as beat up as I figured we would be. And we actually survived no damage. Other well I mean we did take damage, but holy man stopped it. Uh there's our shop. That's what I was waiting for. Hoping to get those there's options or more options or there's more options, which is an awesome hypothetical combination of both of them that also lets you pick up both items at the same time, because, yeah, that wouldn't be broken as heck. Nope. And the shop is another reroll shop. Um... We gotta go. We gotta see if we can't... I honestly do have to take 9 volt. It's too good. We will still reroll. Again, 
Okay, I'm gonna call the rerolls there. But 9 volts is even more reassurance for me. So, yeah. And then we get Gemini. Not particularly amazing by anybody's standards, I think. So let's backtrack and pick up our money. Because, yeah, not much else we can do right now other than try and stumble upon our, uh, boss fight. I mean, I guess it wants me to come this way, so who am I to argue with the game? I'm not one to argue with the game, that's the answer. Okay. Although 9 Volt is admittedly very slow going at the end fight. Why I wasted that, I don't know. Um, so we're gonna be going in here without it. But now we have Empress active for this. Which should hopefully make this an easier to fight. Despite our lower than base speeds. And the force safety goes down. And we still managed to pull off our deal with the Angel. And there's another speed upgrade which is followed by a speed downgrade. Have to take Trinity Shield, which is nice all together. And now we backtrack for all of our money. We are at the very least above base level health, or speed rather, though just barely. Um, because thank you for the speed downgrade pill that was spawned off the caffeine pill. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, but, of course it would scramble this. Of course, will you stop, game? Stop moving my money. It's annoying. Ah, uh, yeah. With that, nothing to do but to move on to the next floor. Um, I don't, no, I was considering actually going to buy a bomb real quick in case the angel statue was still there, but that was a small room, which is not a good idea to try and fight an angel statue. And it wouldn't have even been there anyways. Alright. So we're becoming a very defensive character on this run, I've realized. Between Trinity Shield, Holy Mantle, and yeah, Trinity Shield and Holy Mantle are making this a very defense focused run, which is not bad by any means, but Trinity Shield is useless against Delirium because Delirium's shots go boom, which sucks because Trinity Shield is otherwise a pretty cool item. Okay, quick shot was found, uh, almost took bad damage there, and a Keeper fight is something that we can actually take care of without any issues. Again, thanks to Trinity Shield. So I think I'm just going to start picking up the money right now. That was a waste. Strength, strength, devil. Pop the sun just to see what we can see. There is a library here. And hold on to the devil. Explosive. So we're never going down that route again. And Monster's Lung is not good, I believe. At least it's not good in my sense of the word. Especially with a lower tears rate, we're gonna ignore it. You again. We meet again, Dark Bum. That was almost bad. And we will be doing it this way because this is the most efficient and probably the safest way I can think of of doing this. I should have honestly done this last time. Uh, we're not the world because we've already got mapping, but we're going to be taking the devil with us and I'm not going to be doing this. I'm kind of backtracking once, pop out, penny, back in. And 
infested. It's fine. Just take it slow. Take it steady. Not gonna die to another damned demon judge. And both of them pay off, but Demon Judge pays off with shit. Still, we got a speed upgrade, which is something. Um, but yeah. I was really hoping you would pay me off with a good syringe there, Demon Judge, but I guess I got my expectations a bit too high. You can bypass a lot of this floor, thankfully. I did not mean to step on that button. That was really a bad thing to do, all things considered. Ooh, golden poop. Um, another sun card, huh? Let's use it in here so this room is not as annoying to be dealing with. I mean, I could have honestly probably kept the sun card for emergency health, but... And there's Bookworm as well, which is nice. Wow, we, did we already get a library on this one? I don't remember getting a library on this one. Hmm, weird. But still, Bookworm is nice. Occasional six shots, which is very potent. Petrified poop is useless. Try and keep that money on the ground for emergency. Because I've not been doing that. Question. Oops. Could have been a worse pill. Could have honestly been a um, bad trip. Or a health down. I really should not be taking pills in all honesty, but. I'm stubborn. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, the hollow. Not a terrible boss fight. Although, I will admit that the restrictive environment does make it a little on the annoying side. There we go, we got a little bit more mobility now. Didn't even need to use the depth. And polydactyly means that we can not hold on to double devil. We'll hold on to a Devil Stars card. And with that, we shall move on. Depths one. Not worth it. We do have to remember Hush needs to be done on this in order to guarantee ourselves a chance at Delirium. So this run needs to be Hush capable which is a very tall order to ask, especially given our current time. So time is not looking too hot. Um, I would really like to just find our shop and then hide, and then we can use the uh, stars card to get going here. Though, so, knowing my luck. The shop could be a super greed fight or something. My key. My key. Need him for a key. Okay. Calm, steady, calm, and steady. What I really wouldn't give to get um, Tractor Beam right now. One of the most awesome of awesome items Tractor Beam is. Okay. Just utilize it because we can get occasional, occasional, occasional lucky pennies. Not even gonna bother with the poop. Room out of hell. We still managed to duck and weave like nobody's business. Boss rush is now a no go. This room is an annoying one for several reasons. Let me take care of it. Dying is 
mine. Uh, no point in doing an extra room that is completely unnecessary. Let's just go to the L room. Or backwards 7, I suppose, would probably be closer, because... I don't know. Just focus on killing them all. This is going to be a longer video if it does succeed, but... I'm not 100% certain on that. Okay. Still no shop signs. Um... I'm so thankful for Trinity Shield right now. It didn't help us through the whole thing, but it did help a little bit. Still no shop signs. It'd be great if the game said, like, shop this way, or something like that, like actual shop signs. This way to shop. Great deals ahead. Okay, what else is alive? One more. I was actually kind of worried about that last one for no reason, because I could have just... As long as I didn't touch it, I was fine, thanks to Trinity. Just kill them all. <sighs> Dead freaking end. I'm not dealing with this room now. Bomb out. Still no shop signs. That's getting annoying. This floor is becoming very needlessly long. I'm not even getting like a mapping card like I got tons of last floor. There we go. And it makes the uh, stars card effectively worthless outside of just being a general teleport card. I can't even bomb my way out of this annoying attack room either. Yeah, we need damage and tears here. To be any amount of effective. So shop first. Um sure we'll take Fanny Pack because it's occasionally good down here. Death's Touch is damage, not so much in the way of tears, but still, it's pretty good. We will go for the golden. Have Devil at the ready, just in case. Sister's V is not Devil card needed for me. Glad I chose the right evasive maneuver there. Ooh. I'm very glad these two bounce off one another as well. That eases this burden considerably. Death's Touch is a very good one to do. to consider. And a Tears Upgrade, which counteracts the Death's Touch downgrade. Alright. Looking a little better here. Acropolis 2. So... Far so good. So far so good. So shop first would be ideal. Find it rather quickly. I would also like to get some Emperor cards, to be honest, because right now that's not looking like it's gonna happen. Hush fight. I will pop into this chest. I will not take Bob's Rotten Brain, though, because that is a death item for most characters. That is not a shop, but it is worth checking out. Um, bomb it. Aria Wizard is an annoyance of the highest caliber. We can't really do anything about it at the moment, because time is a mild to moderate concern here. So we'll have to just deal with the Ario Wizard shots for a moment. Okay, this should be a shop. 
and there's options is excellent. So now, I did not mean to press that. The stars. Uh, straw is useless. Sun car is not so bad though. All right, so now we need to quickly make our way to our boss fight, and honest to goodness, we need to hope next floor is a curse of the labyrinth so that we can utilize the sun card to find out where the heck we need to go. Because otherwise, I do not foresee me making next door happen. I will go back for that whip one, though, because that is actually okay. Since ticks don't matter right now. Really, shot speed is nice right now. Close that was. Incredibly close. See that tend to drop. There goes our protection. Um. Actually, Silver Dollar, I think, is what we want a little bit more. I'm just gonna keep track of it. I think that's the one that gives us shops on the next floor or something. Silver Dollar shops up here in the womb, utero, and so on and so forth. God have No questions asked. And then the Polaroid. And then we move on. So God had Death's Touch Tears is honestly pretty good. Especially as the people here. Um. Don't know why I haven't been utilizing that. Don't ask. Emperor. Didn't mean to use it on this floor, damn it. But what's done is done. Definitely take Torn Photo, because that's a better tiers upgrade. And we move on. Screw the shop on this floor. I should have probably kept Whip... Actually, no. With the, the current card that I have, Whipworm would have been bad. Or rather, with Godhead, Whipworm would have not have been a good thing, because we actually want our shots to stay on the enemy for a little longer than normal. Because that aura is the ball. Take the nickel, keep going. Then take it carefully. Uh, Judas's tongue is useless. Golden bombs is meh, all things considered. Just keep going. Just power through it right now. Um, treasure map is pointless. The sun. We will take treasure map though, just because. Uh, bomb this and take the diplopia for now. Uh, and I just burned diplopia because I thought it was what a nickel. God damn it! I can be a dum dum. Plan on taking that for the deal with the devil slash angel that we might get, but oh well. The sun is done. Let's just move. We should be able to make the hush fight at this point. Two of spades is worth popping. It lives, it lives, it lives. I could honestly just sit there. Right. Angel room. Um, take circle protection, because the relic is useless. And then we move down. Alright, we are down to the hush fight now. Hush fight now, hush fight now. The tower. Just get rid of the tower. Uh, pop in here first. That is a useless space bar item to try and get. Goat head is similarly useless. Able could be taken, but we will leave it on the ground for now. In here, we will take Booger Tears, because that is excellent. And in here, we will take Spectral Tears, because that's okay. Then, with Golden Bombs, we might as well do the standard Hush 
floor blow up all the rocks and chances of a um, black market or other thing. We will take Abel at this point. We probably will just take Goat Head just so it's out of rotation. It's not looking like we're going to get in any Tintagrox or anything. Nope. Okay. Take Goat Head. We're going to save the sun for next floor. Here we go. So happy for Booker Tears here. Second phase. Keep going. Keep going. Trinity Shield is honestly not going to be as helpful here, but Circle of Protection is helping with the deflection. If we had um, Sheila Tears at this point, by the way, we would not have any issues here. So, I mean, look at all those tears stuck on Hush. And they're only going to grow in number. I don't know if the... Um, Godhead Aura effect is still being applied to the Booger Tears that are stuck to him, but if they are, then that's just amazing. Go up high where he can't hit us easily. Uh, he hit us. He hit us. He hit us. Oh shit. Oh sh shit. We need to get help. We need to get help. Ooh, okay. That was almost bad. I assumed that since we were up high, he wouldn't be able to hit us with side shots. I assumed incorrectly. At least most of what he spawns dies on spawning, which is kind of awesome. So I think that means the aura effect of Godhead shots are still active, which is pretty darn cool, slash amazingly astounding. Get some money on this side as well, just in case. Oh, okay. Honestly, lost track of you there for a moment. Hush. Oh, shoot. My tears are falling off of him. He's staying underground for so long. It's the angelic beams of light. Screw them really hard. Us is almost dead here. Paul, oh, thank the Lord. That was so very close. I almost lost. To the delirium floor we go. Let's make the most of this. Uh, we already have mapping, that's right. Well, in that case, we can keep the um, Sun card for emergency help. Excuse me, but I don't know if you heard the burp. Um, what would be... Actually, no, Chaos card does not instant kill Delirium, that's right. A teleportation card, though, just in case, would be nice. Because you never know when you're gonna need emergency teleportation. Um, honestly, Hush could be in either of these rooms, except for I think this one. He was not in this one, but was the top of this one. I don't have any heals in this room right yet. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, not so good. For the health. Uh, take up his head. Thank goodness for double items. So he took damage against Satan, which is not a good measure of what's going to be happening against Delirium. Ansus is useless. I honestly didn't need to run from that. Empress will be also good for the Hush fight. Because emergency, or actually, or damage rather. 
Not really emergency extra damage, just extra damage straight up. Um, the double secret room is down by that other room there, which does lead me to believe that is the hush fight down there. I'm exploring at this point mainly to see about getting some more resources. Because if we were to, say, get um, money equals power, then having max cash stack would be nice. Plus, the occasional luck upgrades do not hurt. Okay. Um, looking at it, this route down here will lead to the most boss fights without chances of being hushed. I think. At least. Um, we might as well lay bomb down. Because I can't tell really some of those. Try Achmed, we have fought you already before we even had that. But... Take Steven. A little bit more damage. Now this one could be Hush. Well and truly could be Hush Delirium. We're not going in there yet. We have two very likely delirium fights right now. Um, spectral God Headshot is awesome. Our damage isn't horrible. Booger Tears actually is pretty good for most enemies as well, but not Hush, unfortunately. Delirium. Yeah. I could actually take the Broken Remote for a teleport out of the delirium fight. I could. Because it's if you use your spacebar item, then teleport out the room. So spade. Daddy long legs is done. Um take bum friend. The other one was also teleportation capabilities, but not in a good way. The bloat! Green bloat at that! Thank god our good stats. Hmm. If I take it, it will put me down to one health. Is the only issue. And it's not even a guaranteed dumping transformation, so we'll leave it on the ground for now. If we can get a health upgrade, then I'm more inclined to take it. Just because that is increasing our odds exponentially to actually take him down Valyria. Uh, definitely take more damage and speed. Otherwise, it's not particularly good at the moment, but quarter will have to be it. If we can get Guppy, then heck yes, we will take 9 lives, because Guppy is the excellent, excellent transformation to get. Especially against Delirium with these kinds of moves. Sorry, Pump friend, I completely forgot about your existence, to be completely honest. Um, actually, Pump friend was probably the worst choice I could have done. Now that I'm really thinking about it, because he'll steal my health. So that was a poor as heck decision on my part. The full card is a teleport, so we can check out this. We can check out these other ones and guarantee delirium for last. Um, take things for. Because that effectively gives us occasional plot shot. There's Delirium. Pull out the fool. Because I'm not ready to fight you just yet, dude. We're going to do these bottom ones and then do the ones up high. Blue baby. Manage to hit us. Droid Rage. We're getting close to the Sponge Transformation, which would be very nice. You know what? We will play you. See if we can't get us an awesome trinket. Two of spades. 
because if we can get something along the lines of um, Bloody Crown, I think is No, Cracked Crown. If we can get Cracked Crown, then I will be so happy because that is like the best trinket. But instead you just give us Crystal Ball, which is just useless. Okay. Only one more boss? No, that can't be it. We did answers though, so yeah, only one more boss fight. That's honestly kind of nerve-wracking. Isaac this time though. There's a whole other fight. And when we get spun, we will get spun. Explosive diarrhea, just pop it to get it out of the way. And we will not be taking nine lives here. It's too much of a risk with little reward play. So we will make our way to the boss fight because I'm not gonna even bother picking up the quarter either. Um, actually, yeah, we'll go with this. Empress for the damage boost, and um, the sun for emergency healing. Let's see if this time we can manage to get the delirium fight done. I have no idea where delirium was. Okay, maybe not all of the random shots are explosive, like I had fear. Maybe it's only later that the shots become explosive ordinances. There we go, there was some explosive shots. Okay. Calm and steady here. Very calm, very steady. Lam. I don't like that. Oh shit. Holy Mantle's done. Holy Mantle is gone. Oh, use the sun. We are almost there. We did it! We did it! We beat the game! We beat the game, people! Crooked Penny has appeared in the basement. <laughs> and... That... Should be it. It's it, right? I think that's it. Give me a moment. It's not it. We still have more to do. I think that we actually have to get every single item yet. Oh, we're so close, though. We only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11 items, and then we will be done with the Binding of Isaac. Completely and totally done. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but it will be done. For now, though, I've been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all of that, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.